heads literally in the clouds. A rare close-up of this giant snake-like insulator, usually seen as a tiny strand from a distance, gives a clue to the little-known work these men are doing, constructing and maintaining the national grid which carries electricity throughout the country. A job that calls for skill and daring with a capital D. These pylons, or towers, with their conductor cables are used by the Central Electricity Authority for the transmission of electricity from the power stations to the area boards, who in turn distribute it to the public. A good gang can erect a pylon, average height 136 feet, and made up of about 400 pieces of metal, in one day. Shocks are one thing the men don't have to worry about, for although the lines of supergrids like this carry 275,000 volts, the current is switched off while they're up there. Not that anything worries characters like this daring young man on the flying trolley, Doug Giddis, or his mate Sean O'Malley on the tower. Sure-footed as cat burglars, the men clamber about this steel network as though there were a safety net below, while most of us get giddy standing on a chair. Still, if you think this is high, wait until the super grid across the Severn estuary has been erected. Normally, the pylons are placed a quarter of a mile apart, but because of river traffic, the span has to be wider, and consequently, to allow for the great sag, the cables have to be higher. 500 feet, in fact. The job of Doug in the trolley is to fix spaces which prevent the cables touching each other during high winds. A job that can be like sitting on top of the world, if you like that sort of thing. In England today, there are already 5,300 root miles of ordinary grid, 132,000 volts, and super grid like this, which is still being constructed. A fine job upon which these men are rising to the occasion in every sense. And now...